Hey, what's up, guys? It's Zach, and today I'm back in Illustrator creating a portrait of Juice World. Obviously, first, rest in peace, Juice World. I think I first heard of Juice World on the um, through Lyrical Lemonade, the Cole Bennett directed music videos, um, All Girls Are the Same, and Lucid Dreams, and obviously two great songs. Actually, go check those out. But um, the pixel sorting effect in Lucid Dreams music video actually inspired like a lot of my style and just the way that music video was shot was very like most of the shots were like very portrait on that one chick and juice and like very trippy very atmospheric not a lot like going on in the background but just very like got the point across and I don't know inspired me quite a bit I know the final results don't look like I like was trying to emulate that or anything but it was just very much like in the style I was going for and like pushed me to keep experiment and stuff like that but anyways on to actually what i'm doing now um obviously you saw me bring in the photo and everything um normally when i started drawing i try to get as much of the like darkest darks done and then i try to work backwards from that like obviously mid-range and then the lightest colors i do kind of bounce around a little bit just because i'll be like i'll have an idea and be like oh i wonder how this will look and then i'll do that and then honestly i'll just start doing other stuff while i'm thinking about other like if i don't know what i'm going to do in the background well i might as well do lines for like five minutes and then if something jumps in my head of like oh i could try that on the background i'll just do that on the background and then go back to doing my blacks and then i might stare at that for a little bit you know and be like hmm not really feeling that and then change it i think i'd do that with the square end up changing it to a circle stuff like that you know what i'm saying just like you want to look at it and kind of live with it and just feel how it's feeling and yeah and you'll also see me jumping back and forth into photoshop and this is so i just have a good idea of like what the final piece is going to be because i do some of the glitches or pretty much all the glitches for this one but sometimes i like mix it up where i do some of the glitches in illustrator some in photoshop but I do the glitches and just fine tune the color in Photoshop and I like to use like smart layers and place the illustrator file in there that way I can like just save the illustrator file and then jump back into Photoshop constantly and get a good idea of like what the final piece is going to look like as you're seeing now um, because I just don't like to be surprised at the end and then have to do a lot of fine tuning at the end I like to just you know slowly work my way up and then just be kind of done and yeah and if you're unfamiliar of how I get those glitches in Photoshop, I will link in to a video in the description of how I do that. And if you're not interested in how it's done, you just want to glitch your photos, um, you, I give away these templates on my Patreon. There will also be a link to that in the description. And yeah, um, as you see, it's just kind of like back and forth from then on, like drawing more detailed drawing like seeing if this is too dark seeing if this isn't dark enough like seeing where it's going to end up lining up in some of those glitches um and just slowly building stuff up like i said i try to go from like dark to light so as you're seeing and i also like to focus on like the focal area like as you see i did the face and then got all those values down and then got the like a basis for the background so i get like the overall feel and then i start moving into just like secondary stuff and then do the same like dark to light again um but that's just so i have like i like to know what the piece is going to look like as soon as possible if that makes sense like just get a full idea because then i can start like your brain can start you know thinking about other things while you're doing stuff like i was thinking about that ugly ass square in the background for so long and before i decided like yeah that definitely needs to be a circle it needs to be like those old um art history portraits that use like this circle to represent the halo or whatever and then i thought it'd be cool you know with like the glitches coming off the side but yeah and the only other really like technical thing that i haven't covered that i do which if you've seen my other videos i'm sorry i'm rehashing some of the same stuff but um i use the pathfinder tool a lot specifically the merge and subtract and the only thing I do unique with those really is I um, have a mouse with a razor mouse with programmable buttons on the side, which I'm sure any mouse with buttons would work. But I bind, um, subtract, and merge to each one of those like two buttons on the side, and it really speeds it up. You don't have to do this. Like obviously, you could just go over there and click it. But there's not like default shortcuts to those. I guess you could set it to like F11, F12. I, you could set it to whatever. But um, at least for me, it's just fastest to do it on the mouse. 
And that combined with like going into the isolation mode or whatever really speeds up the way I work quite a bit because then I can just press like control A to select everything within that group. And I, um, that's how I keep so few layers also is I just kind of like have a bunch of stuff grouped together. But as you've seen now, I kind of put in some lines in the background. Um, that was with the blend tool if, in case you missed that. But super simple. Um, I have a video on that also if you want to check that out. Just very cool tool and honestly from here on it's mainly just like fine detailing like as you can see like cutting away the mask and um, Photoshop really just kind of editing those layers of the glitches um, so much of that stuff is like experimentation that it gets hard to really like get into the specific details because it changes every time and I don't want to say like well this is how I do it because honestly I'm just kind of freestyling each time and like <laughs> have no idea what I'm doing I'm like I don't want this glitch part to be here let's delete that from the mask or let's you know what I'm saying like it just changes each time so I'm sorry if I'm not super helpful on that but honestly I think the most important thing in Photoshop for like this look or whatever is just to mess with waves um like the waves option or whatever honestly you can do so much stuff with that you can get like pixel sorting effects you can get these huge chunky effects you can like uh, like as far as glitches there's just so much stuff you can do and if you vary that like as you see in the background I did like those well, and partly on him on the sides I do like the small glitches or whatever and then in the foreground which is the front like I do the big like glitch on his face and I think that like kind of starts to show a little bit of perspective or whatever not like not a hard perspective like you'd see like a two point perspective or something but it just shows like kind of shrinking behind I don't know I kind of thought it was like but while I'm rambling I would also like to say like thank you guys so much for a thousand subs honestly it's super cool to know that even like on something super niche like this that there are people that you know what I'm saying care and that there's been so much like great discussion in the comments stuff like that it's like wow people like actually care about making stuff right now like people care about illustrator people care about I don't know like really creating right now and really creating something but it feels like it's such a good time to be expressive so it it's really nice to have like a community behind that that really like you know shares that you know passion for wanting to get better passion for wanting to learn and honestly i'm still learning as i go too and i appreciate you guys hanging in there with me and yeah just once again thank you for a thousand subs i know i don't <laughs> upload the most consistently but i'm you know working on that just got better internet all that good stuff so also wanting to throw in a few more videos that aren't as much just like speed art or anything like that or process oriented more about like macro things like uh, choosing a mouse like choosing a tablet things like that um but yeah thank you guys so much again for watching and have a great day